Dear children, can you find the height of your school building or a tree without actually measuring it? Yes, it is possible with the help of, with the application of trigonometry. Today, we learn to make a clinometer and also learn how to use it. Material required for this activity are a semicircular cutout of paper, a cardboard, a rectangular strip of cardboard, straw, a thread, thumb pin, a small weight, colored pens, gum, and tape. We also require a ruler. A clinometer is an instrument used for measuring the angle of elevation and angle of depression of an object in order to find the height and distances. The angle of elevation of an object is the angle between the horizontal and the line of sight of an object if the object is above the horizontal. This is the case of angle of elevation. This is a horizontal line and this is a line of sight of the object. Now, the angle of depression is the angle between the horizontal and the line of sight of an object if the object is below the horizontal. Now, let us first learn how to make a clinometer. We take a semicircular cutout of paper, fold it into two equal parts to obtain the quadrant. Now, the central angle is 90 degrees. Now, fold it into three equal parts. Fold it in this manner, so that we get three equal parts. Now, angle of each of the sectors is 30 degrees. This angle is 30 degrees. Fold it once again and press to form the crease. Now, the angle of each of the sectors is 15 degrees. Unfold. Now, you will see lot of creases. We draw line segment along the creases. The first line segment is drawn along the midline and then we draw the next line segment on the different creases. The central angle along the midline is 0 degrees, then the next angle is 15 degrees, next angle is 30 degrees, the next angle is 45 degree, then we have 60 degrees. Seventy five degrees and ninety degrees. The way we have drawn these angles in the anti clockwise direction, the same angles will be drawn in the clockwise direction. So, finally, we will obtain a semicircular cutout of this form. Now, we paste it on the cardboard. Now, we apply some gum on the back side of this semicircular cutout. and paste it on the cardboard. Now, next we cut it out. Now, the replica of this is ready with us. We will obtain this protector. Now, our protector for the clinometer is ready. Now, next we take a thread, tie a small weight on one end of it, which is used to attach this protector to a rectangular cutout. Like this. Now, our clinometer is ready. We have model portraying a real life situation in which there is a building and there is a flag on it. This is our clinometer and we have to find out the height of the flag above the ground. Now, for it, we will first measure the distance from the base of the clinometer to the building. Let us measure this distance first.
Now the total distance between the base of the building and that of clinometer is equal to 74 centimeters. Now let us measure the height of the clinometer above the ground level. The height of the clinometer above the ground level is 40 centimeters. Now we have the diagram of this practical situation with us. Now the distance of the clinometer from the base of the building is 74 centimeters. The height of the clinometer is 40 centimeters. This h is equal to, we denote it by h, it is equal to 40 centimeters. To measure the angle of elevation of an object, gradually rotate the protector of the clinometer looking through the straw and stop when the top of the object is visible. The angle of elevation is the angle between the midline of the protector and where the thread is touching the scale. You can also measure the angle of depression using the clinometer. Now the angle of elevation which we have seen of the top of the flagstaff comes out to be 30 degrees. Theta is equal to 30 degrees. Now using the application of trigonometry, we can find the height of the flagstaff above the ground level. Now children, you will notice that PTSQ is a rectangle and since opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, PT is equal to D, QS, which is equal to 74 centimeter and PQ will be equal to TS, which is equal to 40 centimeters. Now in triangle, PRT tan theta is equal to opposite side upon adjacent, which is equal to RT upon PT. Therefore, Substituting here, tan theta will be equal to value of RT, let us say is x and PT is equal to 74 centimeters. Now tan of, we have noticed that the angle of elevation is equal to 30 degrees. So tan of 30 degrees is equal to x upon 74. Tan 30 is 1 by root 3, which is equal to x upon 74 value of x comes out to be 74 upon root 3, which is approximately 42.7 centimeters. Now to find height of the flag above the ground, the height is equal to x plus 40, which is equal to 42.7 centimeters plus 40 centimeters and it comes out to be 82.7 centimeters. So we have learnt that with the help of this application of trigonometry, we can find height of the flag above the ground level. Now children, you make your own clinometer and rush to the ground to find the height of your school building or a tree. 